Hey guys, it's Chicka Connor. Welcome back to more Earth Found. Last part, we just got here to uh, Ananets' lab. I almost said Mega Man's lab. Ugh. It'd be Mega Man's lab. It'd be Dr. Light's lab. What the hell am I thinking? Now, let's try talking to his to Alp Kid's mouse again. Way to go. This is a way to go. Okay, seriously, that sounds like sarcastic almost. Well, anyway, um, it's actually kind of a obvious hint of where you're supposed to go next. You're supposed to go to the Stonehenge base, you know, as there was a giant metal eraser blocking the path off last time, and now you have the eraser eraser. But before we do that, we're going to call the Escargo Express and have them take that pack of bubblegum and that pencil eraser off our hands for good. Because now we really, really don't need them. There is another chance to use a pencil eraser at an awkward time, like on the Manny Manny statue, though, but it says the exact same thing as it did on the free on the previous time, so it gets the shaft. We're not gonna hang on to it. So anyway. I uncover the bill. You're going to take out of Pooh's inventory the pencil eraser and the pack of bubble gum. Well, let me just make sure go through our inventory just once more to see if there's anything I uh, need, should give him. Casey Bat, we're gonna hang on to for reasons I'll tell you later. Um, monkey's love, and I really don't think I need. Yeah, I take the monkey's love. You're making love to a monkey. Anyway, let's go down in here into the entrance of Stonehenge Base. This game has a pretty cool explanation for what Stonehenge is, you know, like, because nobody really knows what it was for. But this one, it's a base set up by aliens thousands of years ago for this invasion. Let's use the eraser eraser. Erase. Iron eraser statue disappeared in an instant. Well, it wasn't really an instant, it was more like three or four seconds, but anyway. Now we go down here and there's actually going to be some pretty strong enemies. Anyway, I'll just go on in. Now, anyway. This is considered by many to be the most annoying dungeon in the game, because it is very long. I'm not kidding you. There's uh, pr also some pretty helpful items in here. One in particular that is a bitch to find. Excuse my language there, though, but it is a bitch to find. Uh, I actually am going to find the uh, item I'm speaking of. Uh, veteran Earthbound players will know what I'm talking about, though, but this item is going to get its own part. Because that's how much of a bitch it is to get, though. So, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, you'll just have to wait and find out in the next part. But anyway, before we do any of that, we're just going to go ahead and go through here. Oh, wow, Starman. Saw that off in the... Ah, Starman. Starman are very easy to get back attacks on. If you just move right at the very instant where they teleport into your party, because they teleport around and everything and teleport to the interior of your party, if you just move it like just the second when they teleport into your party and the encounter happens, you can get a back attack on them like every time. You're just because they have a really awkward movement. Hmm. Still eating some tacos. Mm. Freeze beta, that's not good. Huh? 19 damage. Nah. Ah, Peter Griffin laugh. Speaking of, have any of you guys seen that, you know, they're changing Family Guy into a show all about Cleveland? It just looks stupid. It just centers around Cleveland. I mean, Peter and Brian and Stewie, they're all still in the show. Why change it? Mm. Spicy jerky. Mmm. Paul's taking a spi spicy jerky. Come on. Not as good as a calorie stick, though. I used to love making Paula fat using calorie sticks. Okay, Rock and Beta. Thunder Beta. Jeff. Because these guys can be really threatening, though, because they can do a thing called diamondization, which some bosses have done on us before. Where, uh. Uh, you know, they turn you into a diamond, it's basically like a one-hit kill on you. Uh, we're just gonna do, I'll go ahead and do this. Plus they have that freeze beta, which is really nasty right there, one-hitted poo. Yep. Oh, Paula is diamondized. That is not good. That's why I was just trying to go all out with this, trying to kill him fast. Alright, we gotta heal Paula. I believe healing Gamma will heal diamondization. It kinda sucks, but... Why can't I go, just go sell Paula on eBay? I mean, I'm sure we could beat Gygas even if there's just three of us. 
Now let's head in here. I didn't get the back attack that time, oh well. Girl! Shake that love and tuffy! That love and tuffy! Shake that love and tuffy! That love and tuffy! Girl, shake that love and tuffy! That love and tuffy, clap and tuffy, girl! Pooger level, yay! We got 2 HP and 2 PV, that was like the most pitiful level up ever. Especially for Pooh. That level up was Pooh! Sorry. Okay, we don't want to go up there though, because I believe that connects to the first room that we were in, so... We're just gonna keep going down. Yay, back attack! Hey, I get my revenge on the Mook Senior! Yay! Um... Starman, real quick, I'm just gonna say this. The regular Starman has a very rare chance of dropping a brain food lunch, which is a very good item you want for Pooh. So, if you get one of those, consider yourself very lucky. Because they're very good items, and even though I have a few of them in my inventory that I haven't used yet, still very good overall. Yeah, Starman's on guard right there. It's one of the few enemies in the game that'll actually defend as a regular move. Alright. We got a level. Vitality, sweet. Okay. Keep going down. Just keep walking, walking, walking. Just keep walking, walking, walk. What do we do? We walk, walk. Hoo, 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 I love to walk. Alright, no more fighting Nemo. Let's freeze you. Shield. Yay, the shield didn't protect you. You died anyway in one turn. Do you? BK freeze! Up the stairs. Into this soul. Jeez, how much more is there? This place is actually longer than I remember. I remember it actually not being too bad though, but god, I, now I remember why everyone's all like, Oh my god, this dungeon is so long! It took us like 45 minutes to get all the way through! Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Uh, screw you and your PSI fire. Smash! Yeah, you're dead. Now, Paula and Pooh seriously need to heal. Vitality up by 2. Wow. Just max HP on up by 25. Pretty nice for Jeff, especially. Let's do beta on Pooh, and I think Alpha is good enough for Paula because she really doesn't have, like, any HP. Eh, not bad, I guess. Oh, Starman. Yay, back attack. Did pull off the glitch right there. Well, it's not really a glitch. It just makes everything really easy, though, because of the awkward movement of the Starman. I'm assuming they were intending for it to, like, make it so it gets a pack attack on you pretty often, though, because it teleports to the inside of your party while you're walking. Making it very hard to avoid, but honestly, they just made it really easy, like, for you to, uh, you know, dodge getting a... Well, I mean, I get a first strike on it. Like, no, I didn't pull it off, damn. Gonna try to do it again. Alright, uh, Rock and Beta. Freeze Beta, Jeff, you go with the Heavy Bazooka again, and Pooh, yeah, just attack. Ow, I forgot. <sighs> Another diamondization, jeez. I hate you and your stupid diamondizations. I know, it glares at you and it turns you into a diamond. Mother one they just called the getting turned to stone, which actually makes more sense, but whatever. Let's do this healing gamma. Your body returned to normal. That sounds so wrong. I hope my body can take it. Okay, I'm gonna warn you right now, these atomic power robots, take them out. Okay, you're gonna wanna take them out strategically though because they are some of the most annoying enemies you will fight in here. I'm not kidding you. Probably the most annoying enemy like until probably near the end of the game. Basically, if you beat them, they explode. 
if, let's say, you don't kill them right away, they're just going to replenish the fuel supply to all their allies and heal them. And it doesn't just heal them, it maxes out their allies' HP, and it also can replenish its own fuel supply, too. So, basically, you've got something that keeps healing, it's a freaking tank, and it explodes when you kill it. Now, if you just keep mashing the uh, A button right here and everything like that, you can avoid getting killed by the explosions. It only take a little bit of damage, though, but even still, it's still very annoying. Pooh got life up gamma. Hooray! More abilities on Pooh, so I don't have to keep wasting healing attacks on... Uh, Nessus PP on healing attacks, thank god. Now, I believe there is an item up here that we want. I believe it's an item we want, so let's go up there and get it. Uh, not... Oh crap, gotta cut this short. Okay, uh, subscribe to the videos up in the corner up there. Give me a five-star review down below this video, and be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. Okay, I'm really, really sorry to cut this short, though, but god, I really run over the time limit. Okay, I really am sorry. Okay, bye.